Welcome, friends, to Boiler Room Detective Channel, where I am your host, Ray Wolfarth. Today, we're diving into a critical topic for anyone installing low-pressure steam boilers. The common mistakes made when installing a steam boiler. Whether you're a seasoned professional or a newbie to the industry, understanding these common mistakes can save you time and money and ensure the boiler runs efficiently and safely. First up, incorrect sizing. One of the most common and costly mistakes is installing a boiler that's either too large or too small for the heating load. An oversized boiler short cycles, wastes energy, increasing wear and tear, and shortening the boiler's life. An undersized boiler struggles to meet demand, running continuously and inefficiently. Unlike a hydronic system, which is sized for the building's heat loss, a steam boiler is sized according to the connected load. The connected load includes the heat emitters, such as radiators and coils, and the steam piping. Incorrectly installed boiler piping is a common mistake, and the manufacturer's instructions should be followed. Proper near boiler piping is critical to the proper operation of the steam system. It's used to dry the steam before going to the system. Wet steam can cause a myriad of problems. Improper system piping can cause water hammer, poor steam quality, and inefficiency. Common mistakes include pipe pitch, inadequate support, and wrong pipe sizing. Always follow the manufacturer's guidelines and ensure pipes are properly pitched and supported. My ideal steam velocities are 40 feet per second or slower. No pipe insulation on steam piping is another problem I commonly see. An uninsulated pipe will lose five times as much energy as an insulated one, overheating the boiler room. In addition, the lack of insulation causes the steam to condense prematurely. This reduces the system's efficiency, causes more wear and tear, and creates an underperforming system. If you see wet insulation, the piping should be checked and the insulation replaced with dry. The damp insulation will hold the moisture against the pipe and cause corrosion. Always insulate steam pipe. Inadequate combustion air is another critical issue. Boilers need proper ventilation to operate safely and efficiently. Poor ventilation or combustion air can lead to dangerous carbon monoxide buildup and reduced efficiency. Ensure the boiler room has sufficient ventilation air according to the local codes and manufacturer's guidelines. Neglecting water treatment is a silent but deadly mistake. Poor water quality scales, boilers, causes corrosion and efficiency loss. Implement a water treatment program with regular testing. Use the appropriate chemicals to prevent scale and corrosion and regularly blow down the boiler to remove impurities. All steam boilers require water treatment. Incorrect steam pressure is also a common error. Since December 1899, low pressure steam systems for space heating have been designed around 2 psi. If the pressure is higher than that, you could have all sorts of issues such as banging pipes, the boiler going off on low water, or the boiler flooding. Never install a valve between the boiler and the pressure control. Yes, I've seen it done. I see many boilers without a valve on a steam outlet. The valve will help you service the boiler in the future by allowing you to test the pressure controls. It's a great idea and a future tech will thank you. The discharge pipe from the boiler pop safety valve is often installed wrong. It cannot be reduced in size and should be piped to a safe location where the possibility of scalding is avoided. There should be no threads on the end of the discharge pipe where a customer could install a pipe cap. Skipping the commissioning process is a big no-no. Proper commissioning catches issues and ensures everything is running smoothly. This involves cleaning the new boiler and piping, checking the safety devices, verifying combustion settings, and ensuring all 
control systems work as intended. Document everything for future reference. Finally, neglecting regular maintenance can shorten the lifespan of your boiler and lead to costly repairs. Develop a maintenance plan that includes regular inspections, cleaning, and servicing. Train your team on proper maintenance procedures and keep detailed records. And there you have it, common mistakes to avoid when installing a low-pressure steam boiler. By following these steps, you can ensure a safe, efficient, and long-lasting boiler. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more expert advice and tips. Thanks for watching. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is FireIceHeat.com. It's my company's website and shows some of our capabilities. I've authored 12 boiler books and they're available on Amazon. My technical articles are included in these fine industry publications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next case.